Good afternoon guys and welcome to Soy Muay Thai. Welcome to Soy, right, Soy Muay Thai. This is where it all started over 12 years ago. I haven't been here for over a decade, but let me show you around. This lonely street only had one restaurant and two gyms when I came here in 2010. And now I've heard this place is insane. The first time I came here was I think 2009 when the Ultimate Fighter first debuted. UFC was still kind of an unknown sport. <laughs> 14 welterweight hopefuls looking to win a contract with the UFC. Whoa, here we go! And this gym opened up right across from Dragon Muay Thai. It was just this, this empty street. There was nothing here. There was literally one restaurant. There was absolutely nothing. And from what I've heard, this street is now nicknamed Soy Farang, which means soy uh, tourist. And it's gotten so popular, you can literally tell any taxi driver in all Phuket, say, I just want to go to Soy Muay Thai, which means like Muay Thai Street, and they'll take you here. I want to show you all the new gyms that have opened up, but we got to go here first, because these guys were the first MMA gym to open probably all of Thailand, actually, and definitely on this street. It's definitely busier than it was before. You can tell just by all the cars here in the parking lot. Wow, guys. It's wild. We definitely didn't even have ATMs back then. This was a tiny little reception. And we definitely didn't have this big of a store before. That's funny, I, I actually have this exact same tank top. They haven't changed the design in 10 years. But they definitely have a lot of new stuff too. So this is Tiger Grill. They had like food plans because there was no restaurants before. So we had to kind of eat here or at Tony's. So now it looks like a proper cafe, but before this was tiny. We ate at the exact same restaurant every day because there were 25, because there was no other options. Now, I'm gonna, show you the, I'm gonna show you this gym first and then I'm gonna show you this street. I've heard there's a ton of places that opened. But the gym itself uh, definitely looks a little bit different. Big, modern, they look like they renovated a few times. I remember the gym was on the right before. I know I showed you guys Fairtex in Pattaya, but this is like, this really, I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling here because this is where I got started. I know I never became a professional MMA fighter or anything, but I really wanted to. Back in 2010, 2011, I dedicated my life to training Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA, because I really wanted to try to make it as a fighter. You all know that that didn't end up happening, but I put my heart and soul here for a few years in this very spot. All right, so I just met one of the, the are you a fighter or are you training or what are you doing? Uh, no, I've just come out here as a solo traveler. Oh, wow. Um, so I came out in um, November uh -huh. on my own, that was the first time. From the UK? Uh, from the UK, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, just for a couple of weeks. Uh, and then I've decided to come over again on my own. So I've been to Simba Gym for a week. Uh -huh. um, and then I've come over to Fitness Street. And I feel like I've died and gone to heaven, to be honest. So you call this Fitness Street? Yeah. So That's there's, crazy. There's lots and lots of gyms. I was just talking about how the last time I was here was 11 years ago. Yeah. And there was Tiger Muay Thai, Phuket Top Team, and Tony's Restaurant, and nothing else. Yeah, yeah. And now it's crazy. It's the first time I've been here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I go home on Monday, uh, I've got two children at home. Uh -huh. I've sort of left there. You're a mom? You look, <laughs> yeah. What, fitness I've, mom? I've got a 17 year old and wow. a 15 year old. Uh, so they're with a the dad. Okay, so, but you know what? I can just forget about them for two weeks. <laughs> well, that's good. And you know, it's definitely not like a normal holiday to come as a single woman to train yeah. Muay Thai in Thailand. Yeah, well, I've been doing it about nine years in Sheffield. Yeah. Um, and I just, I just love Muay Thai. I love the healthy lifestyle. I love getting up in the morning. Um, I love training. I love all the restaurants on here. Yeah. The protein shakes. Everything. I just love Do you compete place. or anything or just for fun? No, I mean, I've been asked if I wanted to since I've been yeah. here a couple, four or five times. I've never had a fight. Uh, I just love, I just love training oh. uh, and I always have trained. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing your story with Thank us. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. 
guys, wow, you will never guess. She's 46 years old. She looks amazing. And she's from the UK. <laughs> that don't insult all the UK moms that don't look like that when they're 46, but it shows. If you're, if you're working out and keeping in shape, you're not gonna look like this. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be in a lot, lot better shape than, uh, than most of us. Speaking of shape, this is one of the classes that we just happened to be walking through today. I don't know if they just completely moved everything around, but it looks so different than what I remember. Absolutely. Oh, you remember me? Long time, 10 years. Oh, long time. You remember me? Ah, you name me again. Johnny. Johnny, oh, you guy, oh. Oh, sir, Smarty Mai. Oi, now have pumpy. Say Mai. So Chuck Chai is one of the Muay Thai trainers at Tiger Muay Thai and he's been there for forever. Uh, he was a pretty good uh, Muay Thai fighter back in his days and he was an excellent boxer, a western boxer. Uh, at the time Muay Thai and actually he still doesn't really pay that well. So he got into boxing and he became a world champion and actually uh, retired uh, when he lost to Manny Pacquiao who then uh, became a world champion for many, many years, uh, if you guys know the, the Filipino fighter. But I was very, very proud and fortunate to have Chok Chai as my boxing trainer in Tiger Muay Thai. I know see you and you know come. Yeah. I, now I know do more time. Guys, I'm in This is one of my old time. trainers. Chuck Chai. Yeah, yeah. Wow, more than 10 years ago. Oh, good to see you. I'm happy you're a strong, strong. Now, how old are you? 55. 55. Wow, it's still, still strong, right? Oi. <laughs> Let's see you. Good to see you. Come on, come. Happy New Year. Sorry, dear, my God. Guys, I I did not expect to be recognized by one of my old trainers. It's been eleven years. I I, I recognized him right away. He looks exactly the same. But I'm sure he's seen thousands of people come to him. That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, God. <laughs> Lil, 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 Lil. <laughs> Wow. Today, no, no fitness. Come alone. Huh? I come alone. No why? Why no come? Huh? Why no come? You know why? I now from Korea. So he offered to give me a free training lesson since I'm here, but so if I'm so out of shape, there's like no way I'd be able to do anything. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me try to hit a bag for a second. We used to do this for hours a day, guys. After like 30 seconds of kicking that bag, I'm very tired. So. Definitely not more tight ship anymore. Twenty second. Lil, 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 Lil. Yeah. Good job. So as much as I've enjoyed seeing my old first stomping grounds where I started things, the gym I actually was fighting for. Oh, Phuket Top Team. That's on the street. Let's go take a look to see how that is now. Let's see if we can see a bit of sparring before we go. Let's see how these Russian guys are. Beautiful background though.
yesterday. But we got people from all levels. We got people who are actual pro fighters, we got people who are here just for fitness, and you have people who uh, are just getting started out. So literally, you got a little bit of everything. So goodbye to Tiger Muay Thai, and let's hop that down the street and see the rest of Soy Muay Thai or Soy Fitness, whatever whatever people are calling it nowadays. Just none of this was here before, literally. And looks like they're building a new gym too, for Apollo. Wow. These bars were definitely weren't here. Fairtex Plaza wasn't here. I think this used to be Dragon Muay Thai. None of these Thai restaurants were here. We definitely didn't have a pharmacy. Unit 27, this is brand new. The only thing that's the same is just all the, and we didn't even have protein. We couldn't even find protein on this in all of Thailand when I, when I arrived, when I was training here, it's crazy. Look at this. We didn't have any of this stuff. This, we, this was here, but it was just like a little resort. We didn't have a family mart. Oh my God, this street is so busy now. I wish I had footage of it, what it was like, but it was so boring. The street was so empty that I never even bothered filming it. Like I could probably just film like some alley. Like it looked like that. That's what it looked like before. Just like a street. Now guys, it is just chock full. It is insane. It is insane. By the way, I don't really wear a helmet, but the street is like, it's so small. I have one of these posters of me when I used to fight. This is wild, guys. I have never seen the street full of so much stuff. I can't even find like Tony's restaurant if we get top team because they're just covered with so many things around here. Oh my God. They even have diving? We had nothing, guys. So now there's sushi, there's a million restaurants. This was literally the only restaurant in all of the street before. This was literally where we ate every meal because there was no other restaurants. And it used to be such an honor to have your photo on here because everybody knew that you were having a fight. And everyone was like, oh yeah, good luck. Go for your training. And now, look at this. We have all this stuff. None of this existed. Even Tony's looks nicer now. It used to just be this one long table. So everyone used to sit together at this one table. Swadi <laughs> Kra! So you, you remember me, Mike? Yeah, and I didn't see you again. Oh. Oh, Long, more than 10 years. Yeah, my mom remember so you too. You remember me, Mai? <laughs> oh, long, long time. Long time. Oh, how are you? Good, thank good. you. Nice to see you. Good to see how you. How have you been? You been good? I've been good. I didn't come to Phuket 10 years. I didn't come for 10 years. More than 10 years. Where's Tony? Tony now, go out now. Oh, I want to see him. Okay, I hope to see him. Oh, <laughs> Okay, come on guys. Good luck. Oh, before I was saying only one restaurant is Soy Tiger. Nah, many, many. Mak Mak. Before only one. Yeah. Only Tony's. Original. But now too many, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Good luck. See you. Bye oh, bye. guys. Bye bye. Guys, it is wild to be here again. This, this long table's not even here anymore. Everyone used to sit. Remember, everybody sat only here. Before, everybody sit there. Yeah. Now, everybody everywhere. everywhere now. Yeah, it was so nice because you would meet every single fighter in this whole street. We would all sit together like a big family. It was, it was like a, an episode of the Ultimate Fighter on, you know, on the reality show TV. And we all wished we were that. Some of them ended up actually going on both the Ultimate Fighter and fighting the UFC. So it came true for, for a bunch of people. My friend Will the Kill Chope used to sit here and every day he would order Cup had supper a lot, which is fried rice pineapple, mainly because it was the cheapest dish on the menu. And he went on to fighting in UFC. Is Will the Kid Chop? The fighters touch him up and. And it's 
crazy. It's crazy to be back here again. I, I actually wish I could eat here, but I got dinner plans meeting up the old manager of Target Muay Thai, Bill. But it looks different now, so it's kind of a uh, nostalgic, but also very different, especially these bars. I remember always walking up and down the street because we didn't have motorbikes, but also we had nothing to do, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But now I realize how far it is. Like, oh my God, they have this giant Korean barbecue, float tanks. We had none of this, hot yoga. None of this existed before, guys. No sports bars, protein shops, Mexican food. Oh my God. What, like we have these new gyms I've never even heard of before. We, like we definitely didn't have a big C and we definitely didn't have tattoos or barber shops. There was nothing the opposite of this before, but now this is Phuket Top Team. Swati Kap. So I'm gonna take you around back first where the office is and where I used to live. So I don't remember this uh, really cool entrance way, but it was before just stickers of Phuket Top Team. This was started by Boyd Clark, who's an Australian guy who worked in the mines in Australia, probably like tin mines. And instead of spending all his money you know, at Hilton hotels and strip clubs and bars like most of those workers did. He saved all of it, came to Thailand when he was quite young, opened this gym as a competitor to Tiger Muay Thai, and it created a lot of drama because it was the only other gym. And I was one of their first customers. I was kind of one of the traders, but I joined because I wanted a smaller environment. I didn't want to be in such big classes. And let's see how it's, how it's doing now. You can definitely imagine the drama of the only other gym opening in all of the street, but wow. That looks cool. And here we have the jiu-jitsu area. I don't want to go in if they're, if they're training right now, but this is where we used to do jiu-jitsu and MMA. Ooh. Actually, no, let's go in. That's going. I think it's just some drills. Take a look. And around the other side, this is of the Muay Thai area. It looks like I just missed the class. Guys, this that blue gym, you know, red and red versus blue, right? Orange versus blue. This is red trained for my I think my first Muay Thai pro Muay Thai fight was for Tiger Muay Thai. And then I got I came here. And this is where I did all my other training. My name is Johnny. I'm going to be training here at Phuket Top Team for three months and hopefully having an MMA or Boy Thai fight at the end of it. Hey, my name is Rafael Lombis. I'm from Brazil. I'm a head coach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at Phuket Top Team. My name is Cho. Yes, my name is Lovers. Yeah. Sai Sakura. I remember I did. I was. I made a video with probably the same equipment that they haven't updated. Uh, and these tires. I don't know like, call it, maybe CrossFit workout or like cardio workout or something. And they used to be in pretty good shape, guys, when I was actually training as a pro fighter. Those are some wild times. It's crazy to be back here again. It's definitely a very different crew here that I don't recognize anymore. This was the old stomping grounds. I still have one of these rooms. You can see with all our gear hanging for dry. This is what the beds look like, kind of almost prison cell-like, but it's all we needed. It was the shared bathrooms. And we used to always keep the doors open because it was so hot, there was no other way to, to survive here. The big double bed. 
TV, TV player. Got my supplement rack on top of the mini fridge. Let's just see what we got in the fridge, guys. Nada, just protein and water. This big mirror, big bottle of water. We got our wardrobe. And right in front of us, literally right out the door, is the training area. But the space I really enjoyed living in were these bamboo huts in the back. But I don't know if they're still here because they were put up like literally with just bamboo and very, very temporary, like a very easy, cheap build. We have these thick pieces of bamboo for the structure. Uh, the foundation uh, is just up on the ground right now, it's on cinder blocks, um, which most people just end up leaving it that way, and it works absolutely fine. Um, the roof is also uh, made of bamboo, and it's all different. Yeah, it was, they were here. I think it was replaced by this thing. These old bamboo huts that I lived in, it was, I think it was 3,000 baht a month, which is like $100 a month to live in. Brand new. And they had, you know, obviously no real amenities, but we ran a electrical cord into it, just like a extension cord. And I stepped on the floor on a, on a little mat and we, I would have a hammock actually strung out. It wasn't a bad life. Um, so this is where I live. I've been living in this hut for uh, over a month now, and it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, it's quite small, but uh, it works. Um, here's the door, uh, also fashioned on bamboo, and just a very basic chain for lock. Uh, one of my favorite things about this is, you see this hammock that I have strung from the roof. Uh, this is where I spend the majority of my days reading books. The kitchen is just a propane tank uh, with a wok, hot water, uh, and we run an electric just through uh, extension cables. So this is what our uh, camp looks like from a uh, long standpoint. Uh, we have four smaller bamboo huts here, and then our MMA gym uh, and our Muay Thai gym down the street. Like it was really kind of like an enjoyable life. Uh, I was eating cheap Thai food. I was living, I was trying to live off of 5,000 baht per fight. And I was thinking if I can fight twice a month, that's 10,000 baht, 300 bucks. That's enough to live. <laughs> that didn't last me very long. It only lasted me a few months. And I realized I like it was just it was too much sacrifice for me. But my buddy Will the K Kill, he did it, so it's possible. But it's also very different. It's it's busy now. It's not it's not the good old days anymore. I finally even saw someone I remember. Oh no, I see you already. I thought we tried uh what already about you. Oh, Swadi Cop. Swadi Cop. How are you? I'm fine. Where is there now? I now I live in Ukraine. Uh-huh. I only visiting for one holiday. For how long? Uh one week. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You when when did you see me last time? Oh it's video. Huh? Video. When I meet you, huh? Yeah. From here. Today uh from uh ten years before. 10 years. 10 years before. I didn't oh. know 10 years. Uh, yeah, 11 years before. Year. You, 11 years. How do you remember? 11 years. If now, it's year. 11 years. You come first time from top team. Yeah. How do you uh, remember? If why? I see you many times. When sometimes you put in the Facebook, why we don't know you? Uh. If customer first you. I was the first customer? Yeah. Ooh, VIP. Surprise, surprise. VIP. Oh, and... So COVID was very bad. Yeah, yeah. But now, now start, start okay. Getting good, okay. Yeah, be good now. Yeah. And, and not much same before. They were start from 50% now. Yeah, okay. And, but this before, I remember there was only Tony's restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Tiger and you, that's it. Yeah. And now? Now many, many, many. So many. How many gym now? Now, now, in, the, now in the Phuket. If I don't forget, in the yeah. Phuket. Yeah. 13. 13. Oui. Too much. And even just the street. How in many? In the street. In the street yeah. here. Seven. Seven. And you were number two. Oh, by an eight. 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 Oi. Eight, 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 eight. That's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. Okay. But Phuket top team still has my heart. I still Did you first first? Yeah. My yeah. my my good good stuff. Ah, Kapun Krab. Welcome. 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 <laughs> From baby before. How old are you now? Uh turning thirteen in June. You're twelve. Yeah. I met you when you were a baby. 
<laughs> like, like you were literally like that size of that turtle. Wow. I was training here. Okay, it's crazy. Up. Okay. So here's one of the uh, Muay Thai fights that I competed uh, under Get Top Team's um, banner, I guess. And it was nice because I didn't have to pay for training anymore as long as I'm fighting for them because it uh, brings them some money, brings them customers, and you know, things like that. And they're trying to train you up, right? Uh, I'm fighting against you know this guy who's much older, but he actually had over 100 fights in his life, so really experienced. He was throwing a lot of massive elbows at me that I had no idea how to block. I'm just swinging wild because I think at this point I have maybe five or six pro fights. So even though I'm in you know pretty good shape at the time, I'm big, you know, I'm taller than him, but he just had a lot of experience on me, so I ended up getting really cut up uh, from this fight. It was definitely an interesting time in my life. I learned and grew a lot as a man. A time to know what I know now about who I am, you know, my boundaries, how far you push yourself. Um, I definitely would never want to do this again. I'm getting anxiety just watching it. Well, down the road, having dinner with an old friend I haven't seen in 10 years. Hello, somebody. Hello. Long time, man. Long time. Long time. All right. You know, I haven't had Mukata for like, well, probably like three, four years. Good to see you. It's been a long time, buddy. Huh? Cheers. Cheers to uh, reuniting. Cheers. <laughs> this is the life, guys. Imagine after doing like a hard Muay Thai session, coming to destroy this buffet. This would have been the best life. Right. I don't know if we never did it. We were just too broke, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's beef, sweetheart. Yeah. Will, what do you want to say, buddy? Okay. Yeah, it's nice catching up with you after all this time. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for dinner. You Glad you're yeah. doing good. He's yeah. looking buff now. Thank you, brother. But I think we, we, both, we both got bigger, <laughs> but you got, you got more fit. Yeah, so. I was maybe like too skinny before, right? You were, yeah, you were, you were. I was like, you were too skinny for being the manager at a more I know. I work too much and I'll train, so I'm trying to train more now. You're looking good now. Yeah, thank you for that.